My name is James Bolchol. I was born in South Sudan. Uh, I left my country uh, in 1987 when I was only 12 years old. And the reason why I left my country was because of the war in my country. The war started in my state of Jangulei, uh, in a town called uh, Madiangbor. Now that name has changed to Bo Town. So it affects us. And then majority of the boys and the women and the girls, they left the country and they went to Ethiopia. Then we lived there in Penyun refugee camp. And when we went there to the refugee camp, we were grouped. And then what happened when we were in the camp, uh, one person will be assigned to a number of the children. And I become one of the leaders uh, in a refugee camp when I was only 12 years old, responsible for uh, other 12 kids. And I was able to make a decision who is going to find a firewood, who is going to cook, and who is going to go uh, to school in the morning because there were two types of classes that were going on those who go in the morning until noon and then those who go in the afternoon have to make that decision. And then four years later uh, there was a war in Ethiopia. That war posted us back again uh, to Sudan. That was 1991. And then from 1991 we moved to Kenya until we came uh, June 1992. That's when we came to Kenya. So I grew up basically in a refugee camp. Then in 1999, I got married and the life started changing. Then 2001, I moved from camp to Nairobi, uh, Kenya, which is a big city. And I was lucky enough uh, when the lost boy and the lost girl, when they were coming to the U.S., I became uh, one of the South Sudanese interpreters. So I worked there for U.S. government for six years. Then after six years, they decide to bring me to Nebraska. So that's how I come here. It's a long journey. It started 1987, and I moved to U.S. in 2007. Okay, the business, you know, what motivated me, I have a business. It's not really a business, it's a non-profit organization. And why do I have this non-profit organization? Back uh, in 1989, when we were in the camp, we don't have clothes. So in 1989, I was given five used clothes. And those five used clothes, and we were 13 kids. So I have drawn the numbers and I told the kid, anyone who got number one, number two, three, four, and five will be the one to get the clothes. So we draw the numbers. And those who were lucky enough got the, the t-shirts and the shot. So it, it just it stayed with me because there was no clothes. We get food from UN. We get uh, basic education. Then in 2003, after I moved to US here, I went back to Africa with two bags of clothes in 2013. When I went there, I went to Kenya, Uganda, and uh, South Sudan. So every time I go to that country, uh, and then people ask me, James, when you are going back to U.S., please share some clothes with us. So I decided to give my clothes out, and then I went to Juba and buy some uh, more clothes for myself. So when I came back in 2013, I told my wife, uh, people are still in need of clothes. So we will do something to, to clothe the people. So that's how I come up with the clothing world needy people. And Clothing World Lady People is growing a little bit. Now I have five members in Australia. We have already started in Australia. And we were able to distribute some clothes this year in the camp that I grew up, uh, Kakuma Refugee Camp in Kenya. So I went back there with clothes and give them to refugees. So it's something amazing and people appreciate it. It started in uh, 2014, that's when I get registration with the state of Nebraska. Then 2016, I registered with the IRS. So the first trip that I took was uh, last year, and I went to Kakuma. Actually, I reached there uh, in January this year. So and then that was the first time we distributed uh, some clothes in Kakuma Refugee Camp. But not only Kakuma, 
here in the U.S. too, uh, we do uh, give clothes to new arrivals in our community. Sometimes I go to families that are new uh, in the city and give them clothes. Uh, in September, I was able to donate a full car uh, with clothes to Open Door Mission because I don't have a place whereby people can come and do shopping free of charge. Uh, a store is not there for me, so I went to Open Door Mission, talk to them, and I give them clothes. They really appreciate that. So we are trying to, uh, you know, to clothe people around, not only in Africa but even here. You know, the clothes, they mean a lot because there are some, for example, when I was young, I was having only one, uh, one uh, bed sheet, it's like a bed sheet. So that one, during the daytime, I would put it on and I walk around with it. Uh, at night, I will use it as a blanket at the same time. So there are some people basically, like now currently, they don't have clothes. But if you get one piece, you can see a man wearing a dress for a woman because to cover himself. So it's something meaningful and people like that. And uh, those who cannot work when, you know, like in Kakuma refugee camp, we have a lot of refugees, thousands of refugees. And those refugees, not everybody working in the camp. But, so it's very hard for them to support themselves and buy clothes, you know, it's very hard. Like currently, those who came from the camp, when it is uh, Christmas time like this, people will be calling that I need some clothes for my children. And you have to send money so that they can go and uh, buy clothes and choose for them. In Africa, we actually we take uh, summer clothes, uh, the summer clothes that we wear here because down there is hot. It's not cold like here, but winter coats and so on, I recycle in them uh, within Nebraska here. The beauty of human being is in clothes. And uh, when people are naked, they don't come to the public, they're hiding themselves and they are in fear. But if we want these people to be functioning and we want them to come out, let's help them and clothe them. Even in the Bible, it's there for those who are Christian that I was naked and you closed me. So it's something that we want to, to do to those who need them. It is important to me because of the life that I went through when I was young, so I know what it means uh, to those who need clothes. What I can tell them, you know, it does not matter. Uh, whether you, you donate it to Open Door Mission, you, you come to Clothing World Needy People, all in all, you are helping. You give it to Goodwill, and then those who have little money will go and buy from Goodwill. So all in all, you are helping in another hand. So it does not need to be directed to me, but the way you give it to Open Door Mission, and then, or maybe Goodwill, they, and then people with, with uh, $5, $3 will go and get clothes.